Your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The Department of Public Health releasing the latest COVID-19 data. The state's positivity rate over the last seven days sits at 1.65%. Over the past three days, there have been more than 1,200 new cases. There have also been seven new deaths due to the coronavirus. So far, more than 61.5% of Massachusetts residents have been fully vaccinated. The Department of Veterans Affairs is requiring all their health care workers to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19, becoming now the first federal agency to do so. The VA Secretary, Dennis McDonough, says this is the best way to keep veterans safe. Employees will get four hours of additional paid leave after showing proof of vacation or vac vaccination. Four VA employees have recently died of COVID-19. All were unvaccinated. And Rachel Rollins, the first woman of color to serve as district attorney here in Massachusetts, is being nominated by President Joe Biden to become our state's top federal prosecutor. If confirmed by the Senate, Rollins, who has led the Suffolk County DA's office since 2019, would become the first black woman to serve as U.S. attorney for Massachusetts. Rollins would be just the second woman to head the state's federal prosecutor's office. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Back to seeing sunny skies for Tuesday morning with a quick warm up. Temperatures expected to get back into the middle and upper 80s all across western Mass. Breezes will be on the light side out of the west. And as we head toward the evening, there's the chance for a few scattered thunderstorms, some of which could become severe with damaging wind gusts and small hail. And we may actually see a little bit of haze across the sky early tomorrow afternoon from some wildfire smoke again as well. But a cold front is expected to push this air mass out by Tuesday. Tuesday night, bringing an end to any wet weather not long after midnight. Wednesday is looking pretty quiet. There's a slight chance for a shower, but high pressure to our north should keep us mostly dry and a little bit less humid. For Thursday, the humidity starts creeping back in as a warm front approaches from the southwest. Showers and thunderstorms are possible Thursday afternoon and evening until a cold front comes through and sweeps all of that out. Behind it, turning cooler and more comfortable for Friday. Saturday and Sunday, mostly sunny with highs in the low 80s and low 50s at night. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.